Ja, så lag jag mig uh, not better with my um, my chip basically was full, so I had no option to uh, make videos because they uh, eat a lot of. Um, they are actually Mr. Words, man. That's really interesting. Gigabyte. Anyway, Where's 20? Yeah, uh, let's meet from 29. Um, from whence he removed by night and went till he came to the fortress. And bad times, uh, be times in the morning they looked up and behold, there was an unnumberable. You saw that? That was a big, big in insect, man. People bearing ladders and others, uh, other engines of war to take the fortress for the assault of them. When Judas therefore saw that the battle was begun and that the choir of the city went up to heaven with trumpets and a great sound, he said unto his host, Fight to stay for your brethren. So he went forth behind them in three companies who sounded their trumpets and cried with fire. Then the host of Timothy, knowing that it was Maccabeus, fled from him. Therefore he smote them with a great slaughter, so that they were killed of them that day about eight thousand men. This done Judas turned aside to Maspa, and after he had assaulted it, he took it and slew all the males therein, and received the spoils thereof, and burned it with fire. From thence went he, and took Kashbon, Machet, Bozoa, and the other cities of the country of the, of the <coughs> cities of the country of Galat, I mean. After these things gathered Timotheus another host and encamped against Rephron beyond the brook. So Judas sent men to espy the host who brought him, brought him word, saying, All the heathen that be round about us are assembled unto them, even a very great host. He had also hired the Arabians to help them, and they have pitched their tents beyond the brook, ready to come and fight against you. Upon this Judas went to meet them. Then Timotheus said unto the captains of his host, When Judas and his host come near the brook, if he pass over first unto us, we shall not be able to withstand him, for he will mightily prevail against us. But if he be afraid and camp beyond the river, we shall go over unto him and prevail against him. Now when Judas came near the brook, he caused the scribes of the people to remain by the brook, unto whom he gave commandment, saying, Suffer no man to remain in the camp, but let all come to battle. So he went first over unto them and all the people after him. Then all the heathen, being discomfited before him, cast away their weapons and fled unto the temple that was at Carnarium. But they took the city and burnt the temple with all uh, where that were therein. Thus was Carnarium subdued, neither could they stand any longer before Judas. Then Judas gathered together all the Israelites that were in the country of Galilee, from the least unto the greatest, even their wives and their children and their stuff, a very great host, to the end they might come in the, into the land of Judea. Now when they came unto Ephraim, this was a great city in the way, as they should go, where we were forfeited, they could not turn from it, neither on the right hand nor uh, the left. <coughs> so lovely.
they could not turn from it either on the right hand or the left but must needs pass to the midst of it then they of the city shot them out and stopped up the gates with stones whereupon Judas sent unto them in peaceable manner saying let us pass to your land to go into your uh, our own country and none shall do you any hurt we will only pass to on foot how we they would not open unto him wherefore judas commanded a proclamation to be made throughout the host that every man should pitch his tent in the place where he was so the soldiers pitched and assaulted the city all that day and all the night all that night till at the length of the city uh, till the length till at the length the city was delivered in few sense who then slew all the males with the edge of the sword and raised the city and took the spoils thereof and passed through the city over them that were slain after this went they over to or Jordan into the great plain before Bethsan and Judah scattered together those that came behind and exhorted the people all the way through till they came into the land of Judea so they went up to Mount Zion with joy and gladness where they offered burnt offerings because not one of them were slain until they had returned in peace now what time as Judas and Jonathan were in the land of Galat and Simon his brother and Galat before Ptolemais Joseph the son of Zerarius and Azarius, captains of the garrisons, heard of their valiant acts and warlike deeds which they had done. Wherefore they said, Let us also get us a name and to fight against the heathen that are one about us. So when they had given charge unto the garrison that was with them, they went toward Chania. Then came Gorgias and his men out of the city to fight against them, and so it was that Joseph and Azarias were put to fight, a flight, and pursued onto the borders of Judea, and were slain, and there were slain that day of the people of Israel about two thousand men. Thus was there a great overthrow among the children of Israel, because they were not obedient unto Judas and his brethren, you see, but to but dog to do some valiant act. And that is what yeah, Israelites to today. You see, they want to do their own things, they want to do stuff that has nothing to do with any kind of truth. Okay. If you tell lies, specifically lies about the Bible, that's good. Okay, because of course they are believers, you see. They proclaim to be believers, of course. Because, you know, um, if somebody asks you, you of course sometimes want to say, even if you know that you are not in the truth, oh yeah, I'm a real good believer i'm a good christian you see satan comes also as light bearer you see so these people believe in something different than the god of the bible but still acting as their god would be uh, which is no god but would be the god of the bible like of course they are a good Christian, but a Christian today is not what it, uh, what it actually is if you watch it out of a perspective of the Bible. So actually to be a Christian means a completely different thing today in these people's mouths and in what they um, understand as a doctrine so basically you would say um, if you 
if you um, 